are very much a community oriented place. Um, we invite, don't solicit, but we invite people to participate in this whole, not here, but downstairs in this whole venture, this wild, crazy experiment called the Creamery. And we hear a lot of, oh, this is a great idea. I'm going to do this for you guys. It won't cost anything. And a few thousand dollars later, <laughs> yeah, that was a good idea. But Sue had a great idea, and she said it wouldn't cost anything to have this be a, a piece that she can begin working with to show other people in the in this area that this is a viable form of, of wind power for our geographic location. There's two kinds of wind. There's wind like the reservoir for your drinking water, and then there's wind like the rain barrel at your house. And this is more like the rain barrel. We need the big wind, we need the huge water reservoir, but we also need the local well and the local drinking water. So I wanted to point that out because a lot of times people um, think they're the same and they're really very different. Yeah. Yeah. There's no code for what There's we're doing. No code. So it was really, um, you know, walking out on the tip of a limb and saying, <laughs> you know, um, it's going to work. We're just going to figure it out. Really good news about Covington. Long Covington is our wiring inspector is an old Navy guy, and he worked with DC Power. So we have business. It's really a group of volunteers, and it's people who have expertise and donate their time and process to um, to the organization. There's a plaque over there that just lists a few of the people that helped make the wind turbine happen. Involved so that we can take the design and see how it really works in New England. Um, someday, guys don't listen to this, we hope to get a donation of solar panels to wire it in so that it becomes a hybrid system. Okay. And when, when we say we're going to say one, two, three, go. One, two, three, go! Yay!